Violence is surprisingly prevalent throughout the developing world. Uh, and as a consequence, in, in order to have a modicum of peace in the developing world, uh, states structure themselves in a way that keeps some semblance of peace and yet prevents violence. Uh, and because economists tend not to think about systematically about the margin of violence, they tend to miss this. And uh, their recommendations for economic reform uh, uh, have something missing and do not fit the circumstances in the problem of development. We've done some calculations on the frequency of violence, and if you look at the poorest half of the distribution of countries, the median country experiences violence every seven years. If you look at the richest developing countries, uh, they experience violence about once every 12.5 years, so a little, little more in between, but still regular violence. In contrast, the developing countries experience violence only once every 60 years. And so there's a big, big difference between all developing countries on the one hand and the developed countries with respect to violence. Now, this means that all developing countries have to, uh, have to solve the problem of the violence. And the way they solve the problem of violence actually creates a problem for development. So the idea is, is that when states have distributed the violence, there's more than one actor that has access to violence. Uh, the, the, the way in which the state uh, creates peace is by creating rents and distributing the rents to the powerful. And when the rents are distributed in proportion to the power, then people with, po with power and violence potential are better off uh, cooperating rather than fighting. And so that's how you create an equilibrium, but that requires, that is a peaceful in equilibrium, but that requires that you create rents, limit access, uh, give privileges, uh, create monopolies, and as a consequence, you have all this, what economists call market intervention. But it occurs not because of rent seeking, which is common in the literature, but rather because of rent creation, the need to solve the problem of violence. And so as a consequence, uh, this is, these are low growth economies. And that notice that they're, all of these uh, economies are worse off if they try to quote unquote reform, that is follow standard prescriptions by economists. Because what do those do? Well, they take away the nature of the rents. Uh, and when they take away the nature of the rents, they remove the glue that's holding the piece together. And so that makes everybody worse off. Uh, so an interesting question, and so this creates a, something of a violence trap because on the one hand, the threat of violence means lots of investments that might be profitable under peace are not profitable under the threat of violence. So, so as a consequence, uh, there's low growth uh, and it's in equilibrium. Uh, why won't the elites uh, share power with the masses? I think the problem is a commitment problem. If they share power with the masses, what will stop the masses from just expropriating the elite? We don't need you anymore. And so the commitment problem, I think, is really the base problem uh, uh, underlying development. Is this new? Uh, it's new in, in one sense and old in another sense. It's new in the sense that it's a new kind of way of thinking about poverty traps. There are many kinds of poverty traps. They focus on things like education, uh, lack of capital, and, and so on. And we think that the uh, violence trap underlies those traps. Uh, so that's a new idea. But uh, the idea of this kind of violence trap actually goes back to Adam Smith. Uh, in the least uh, uh, read book, book three uh, of The Wealth of Nations, the, the, least, the book that's least r well read by economists, he actually talks about this and about the nature of the violence of the feudal system and how there's so much violence that nobody has any incentive to invest because as soon as something is invested, somebody else comes and tries to expropriate it. And so he talks about how difficult it is to get out of that. And then he explains with uh, the, the alliance that grows up between the towns and the, uh, and, and, and the king, uh, where they both begin to have an alliance against the uh, middle, the great lords, uh, and how that slowly allows them to get out of the violence trap.